Okay, well what if you have a Macintosh computer, you're using OS X, and you want to install Berry Boot on the micro SD card, what do you do? Well, it's actually not that bad. First thing you need is you need the Berry Boot file itself. And so, okay, download Berry Boot is all you really have to type in. And you're looking particularly for the Source Forge right here, this link. And what you're going to do is you're going to download Berry Boot and it's going to download as a zip file. Now I've actually already downloaded it and then you're going to unzip it and then all of these right here you're eventually going to put on the SD card. But let me show you what you need to do. Okay, so as far as the SD card is concerned where do you have to go for that? Well, first thing you do is you type in micro SD and you need to have a micro SD card needs to be class 10. That's really important. It has to be a class 10 card. And this is the micro SD right here. Usually there's an adapter that will come with it and many of the Macintoshes nowadays have an SD card uh, slot so you can put the micro into the adapter and then slide that in. Now let's say you don't have that, then what you want to do is you want to get a USB adapter for your micro SD card. So here's an example of a USB adapter. You slide in the micro card and you just put it in your USB port. Then what's going to happen is it's going to appear on your desktop and what you want to do is you'll want to go to Disk Utility and that's typically found in doo -doo -doo, the other section and you want Disk Utility. What's going to happen is you put in the SD card and it's going to appear in this list and then there's going to be an option over here to say Erase you want to make sure that you choose the FAT32 file format. Don't worry, I'm not insulting you. FAT32 stands for File Allocation Table, and that's from the Windows 95, Windows 98 days, the way that Microsoft used to organize um, their bits and bytes on their disks. Once you have it formatted, then all you have to do is drag the files from the Berry Boot right onto the card, and that's it. It's ready. You pop it in your Pi, and then it's ready to install your operating systems. All right, God bless you, wherever you are today.